Welcome back. An Othello man allegedly attempted to pull a gun on officers during an arrest Thursday night in Moses Lake. Moses Lake police reportedly received a photo on Wednesday that indicated Victor Solis, a 23-year-old Othello resident, may be walking around Moses Lake with a gun. The photo reportedly showed Solis holding a silver and black handgun. An officer on patrol saw Solis walking with a bike in the 400 block of North Grape Drive. According to police, Captain Dave Sands, Solis allegedly reached for a handgun in his waistband while being searched, and two officers drew their weapons. Officers were able to take the gun from Solis. He was arrested for unlawful possession of a firearm, possession of a dangerous weapon, and obstruction of justice. Solis was arrested the day before for allegedly assaulting his mother at a Moses Lake home. A Moses Lake man is facing charges after he fell asleep in his car in a drive through after driving drunk. Prosecutors charged Christopher R. Cooper, a 34-year-old man in Grant County Superior Court with unlawful possession of a firearm and DUI. Employees from the Taco Bell on Stratford Road called 911 to report Cooper was reportedly spinning his wheels in the drive through and then fell asleep. When Cooper stepped out of the vehicle, officers reportedly noticed a loaded pistol on the inside of the driver's side door. His concealed pistol license was revoked in 2008 after he was convicted of violating a court order relating to a domestic violence case. Cooper reportedly had a blood alcohol level of 0.16. Cooper allegedly denied being drunk and said he had had two drinks. A man is serving seven years in prison for throwing two stolen bottles of alcohol at a clerk. Brian Godfrey, a 48-year-old Moses Lake man, pleaded guilty in Grant County Superior Court to robbery, malicious mischief, obstructing a law enforcement officer, and resisting arrest. Godfrey has 12 previous convictions, and when combined with his present convictions, he faced between five years and three months and seven years in prison. Grant County Superior Court Judge Evan Spurline sentenced Godfrey to the maximum end of the sentencing range. A grocery store clerk saw Godfrey place three bottles of alcohol into his jacket. When the clerk asked him to return the bottles, Godfrey ran. The clerk followed him out of the store, and Godfrey threw a bottle at her. He threatened to hit her with another bottle before throwing it as well. Godfrey ran into the swamp area behind the store where he was arrested after being pepper sprayed for failing to comply with police. In Northwest news, a determined and generous seventh grader surprised her classmates on Friday. While recovering from surgery, she came up with an idea to help others. KOMO's Elisa Jaffe has the story. Oh, there's a girl at the hour. Ah, Hi, nice honey. Meet you. I'm so proud of Thank you. Thank you. 12-year-old Cassidy Huff is savvy beyond her years with a big surprise up her small sleeve. I'm excited, very excited. The seventh grader's surprise is so impressive, she coordinated a school assembly to share it. Cassidy raised $6,000 to buy iPads and voice recognition apps for an entire special education class at Sylvester Middle School in Burien. They think we're getting two iPads instead of eight. So we're trying to keep this on the down low until I actually get up there. Every day, Cassidy tutors special ed students for one period. Many of the students don't speak. Can you say hi? Cassidy herself has had her share of struggles, being born with a rare dwarfism syndrome. I'm blind out of my right eye, I'm deaf out of my left ear, and um, my right side is three and, a half, three and a half inches smaller. But don't call her disabled. Differently abled is how she sees herself. Cassidy just underwent her 33rd spinal surgery, but instead of moping around feeling sorry for herself, she decided to help others. I know someone always has it worse than I do. That's why she wanted to buy iPads for the kids with autism and Down syndrome. Students who rely on pictures instead of words will now have a portable device to help them communicate. It was my idea, but it was your generosity that got us here. You guys are going to change people's lives. I cannot believe that um, a seventh grader just has the compassion that she has and the understanding of what these kids need. And to be able to pick out the one thing that would be the most important for these kids. Cassidy might be small in stature, but today the selfless seventh grader urged others to make a difference, no matter how small. I'm proud to be a Tom. 
And that's going to do it for us here at I-501 News. We want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow.